thank you. I got some uh, questions for y'all. Who's number one in the entire multiple listing service in Ottawa County? Tommy Johnson. Who has over 30 years of quality sales experience in Ottawa County? Tommy Johnson. Who lives on Catawba and can best service your real estate needs? Tommy Johnson. Who works hard to party? Chuck Redman. Back it up. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. No, that's all right. Tommy has a good sense of humor and a dear heart. I love you, Tommy. I'll buy another home if that's what it takes. <laughs> no, back it up. We'll, we'll take that out. I just did that. No, that's just, all right. Just that's all right. She doesn't care. <laughs> well, she might care, but that's all right. Uh, and who visits us at the Roundhouse on certain Wednesdays in the summer? Tommy Johnson. Tommy Johnson. I think Johnson, there's a hint folks. here. And uh, I think uh, that's about the longest lead-in ever to a word from our sponsor, but here you go. A word about Tommy Johnson. Folks, really. welcome back to uh, Feeling All Right with Buck and Chuck. And I promise you, whenever our pal Dag is in the room, we are feeling all right. We don't look so good, but he makes up for it. It's nice of you to uh, work your way back here from Cuyahoga County to join us today, too, Chuck. Well, I don't really. Uh, thank you. And uh, I'll. You know, uh, you got the same outfit on you had on last week. <laughs> <laughs> well, how embarrassing. It's actually different clothes. <laughs> I just buy doubles of everything. Oh, Because okay. I, uh, sometimes I drool. Um, what do you say, uh, you want to give us a little infor information? <laughs> a little. <laughs> Can I get a ride to the infertility <laughs> Thank God I am. <laughs> How about some entertainment information? Info? Oh, entertainment infertility. All right. <laughs> Oh, good gravy. Well, let's see. Tonight's uh, Thursday, February 24th. So that means that uh, Island Idol is going on down at Nick's Roadhouse at 7.30. Stevie Brownell will be uh, back at the Brass Pelican over in Huron at 7. When did he change from Steve to Stevie? I just uh, wanted his 19th birthday. Okay. Okay. Is he related to Stevie Nicks or Stevie Wonder? Yes. Okay. Yep. They both have a first name. Uh, February 25th, as in Friday, Dag's favorite Mike, Papazian, will be at Quarry Hill Winery over in Berlin Heights at 6.30. And here you go. Steve Brownell will be at Mel's, Bell Mel's, Bell's Mel's, Mel's Bell's, Bell Mel's Pizza and Drinking Establishment in Fort Clinton, Ohio at 7.30. Tonight. And you know, he loves to play that room for some yeah, reason. Yeah, this is the second does. time. I know. And uh, he uh, told me personally that he really enjoys playing there. So, uh, that's and uh, not to upset any of our sponsors, but some very high quality pizza in the area. Ooh. The take and bake special there. You heard it you here. You couldn't first. see that here. I gave the big OK sign. So, Steve Brownell at Bell Mills at 7.30. Bob Lewitsky is playing at Mattis Winery at 8. Christian Kayser will be at Hermes Winery at 8. Daryl Gatlin will be at a packed house at Monami at 8.30. Key Motion will be at Beer 30s at 9. Maybe. And Saturday... Maybe 9.30. <laughs> Saturday, February 26th. Dante will be at Paper Moon Winery in Vermillion at 5. Michelle Charney will be, and she's new to uh, Mattis Winery, but she's uh, making her first appearance there at 8 o'clock on Saturday. Paul Franks will be at Hermes Winery at 8. The Lake Show will be at Mona Mee at 8.30. Liverpool Lads will be at Sawmill. I wonder what that'll be. But I'll bet no, it'll be Led good. Zeppelin. <laughs> Heard Led Zeppelin Saturday night. Um, so Liverpool lads will be at Sawmill at eight thirty. He heard Ed Zeppelin, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Fred Zeppelin. 
Collins Assault will be at Savannah Bar and Grill over in Westlake at 9. What night is that? Saturday night. The day. Saturday Please. night in Toledo. 20, um, February 26th. 26th, okay. And Roadhouse will be at Quaker Steak and Lube at 10. Are you sure that's not Quaker Steak and Lube at the Roadhouse? Actually, no. <laughs> it's as I read it. And lastly, but not leastly, Sunday, February 27th, Kevin and Yvonne from The Late Show will be at Mormy on 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. And that is your schedule for the week of February 20th. And within the next couple of weeks, people have got to listen up because March 4th and 5th is the big Putin Bay weekend down at Nix. Another one. <laughs> And the hits just keep <laughs> on coming. <laughs> Tenth Putin Bay weekend within 20 miles of here in the last 12 weeks. There's two more coming. March 4th and 5th. Uh, March 4th has Paradise Island at 8.30. And March 5th has Wally and the Beeves also at 8.30. And then they have yet another one at Nick's. Cookie Dobbs! On April 2nd. So April 2nd, they have the big South Bass Bash at Nix with Ron Howard, Paradise Island, and Mad Dog. So All on the same day? Yes. Wow. South Bass Bash. And careful how you say, say that. Say that about three times really if quick. If you can. Okay. Well, you mentioned the name Lewitsky a minute ago. Yeah. Playing at a winery or something yeah. or whatever. And that, <coughs> pardon me, where's the cough button? <coughs> You know, a bowler, you know a bowler named Lewinsky? No, no, no. No, but the dude abides. Don't forget that. <laughs> um, I want to, uh, hearing that name remind, reminds me of Lewinsky, Monica Lewinsky. And I want to share something that maybe you may right. find humorous. You may not. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't. They got their, Pablo's got his finger on the delete button right now. <laughs> but uh, this is fact. Now, um, and I'm going to read this. The Washington Post runs a weekly contest in its style section called the Style Invitational. The requirements this week were to use the two words Lewinsky, the Clinton intern, and Kaczynski, the Unabomber, in the same limerick. Now remember, the following winning entries were actually printed verbatim in the newspaper, Washington Post. No bleeps, no X's, they were printed. And I'm sure most of you, other than Buck, know what a limerick is. I was still working on verbatim. The, <laughs> the most famous limerick of all time starts out, there once was a man from Nantucket, you yeah. can figure out the rest of it. Yeah. But I'm gonna take just a second and read these three prize winning would you get on with it? Limericks mentioning Monica Lewinsky and Ted Kaczynski. This is only an hour show. Third place. There once was a girl named Lewinsky who played on a flute like Stravinsky. <laughs> was hailed to the chief on this flute made of beef <laughs> and stole the front page from Kaczynski. <laughs> These were actually that was third place. printed in the God, I, Washington Post. I can't Post. wait to hear first and second. <laughs> it only gets better. Second place. Said Clinton to young Miss Lewinsky, we don't want to leave clues like Kaczynski. Since you made such a mess, use the hem of your dress, and please wipe that stuff off your chinsky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cracking oh up my the producer. Is this oh a family show? Oh yeah. my God. Well, it's not your family. <laughs> <laughs> and the winning entry, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Good. So far, three is the best one. Lewinsky and Clinton have shown what Kaczynski must surely have known. That an intern is better than a bomb in a letter when deciding how best to be blown. <laughs> <laughs> that is number one. <laughs> oh, just a little more of the effervescence uh, and <laughs> copistrational humor you can find only on Feeling All Right with Buck and uh, Show. And another new low. 
Perhaps we should move on to a song. <laughs> and uh, we'll call, let's see, um, pick one, Buck. Oh, okay, very good. Excellent This choice. one's by the Supremes, and it's called Come See About Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great great segue. Segue. <laughs> yeah. Segway. That's right. Call it what you want. Uh. <laughs>